So anyways, awesome. he's telling me a story. Is this guy named Dr. Boudreaux. I Dr. Mean, Boudreaux. Dr. Boudreaux, right? I don't know where the guy comes from. It sounded like an urban myth to me, but this guy gives me this story. He, they show, well, actually, they showed us pictures of him. Like, stay away from this dude, like, at all costs. This guy's dangerous. So we're, like, sitting there listening to stories. Dr. Dr. Boudreaux, Boudreaux, real guy. Exploits. And what this guy would do is he would hang out with basketball players or football players, like college players, get to know him a little bit, take him out for a couple beers. He'd, like, slip him a Mickey. Then he would bring them back to their hotel room, right? Back to their hotel room. They'd be passed out. They would wake up in the morning with, like, Polaroids of him standing over him with, like, his crank in their face and blackmail him. Absolutely incredible. I mean, this guy would just, and then he'd basically just say, listen. Buck. Listen. Buck. I want money. I want this. I'll be your agent. Buck. I'll be whatever you Buck. want. And the, guy, the guys were just like, uh, all right. With all due respect to the family-oriented listeners up and down the West Coast and across America, tell me you did not just <laughs> ache in their face. That's, uh, Great. I just lost three more affiliates. Out of boy, Tolbert. So Boudreaux's got the so pictures. Boudreaux's got the pictures. Hey, you never hung with Boudreaux. He didn't drop any no. Mickeys in your drinks. <laughs> never saw Boudreaux. Thank goodness. Is that real? I guess. Or did they just make this guy up for people like you? I have no idea. Whatever. It's a great story. And I believe it at the time. <laughs> yeah. At this point, it's kind of a moot point, isn't it, whether it's real or not?